Vau, the founder of the Hare Krishna movement and the, uh, who made Hare Krishna mantra famous around the world. And he began in the 60s uh, to preach in America. But of course he was in India long before that. He was born in uh, Calcutta and in his earlier years he was preaching in India. But then he went to America and he established the International Society for Krishna Consciousness there in New York City. Uh, and then from there, it has spread to uh, all parts of the world. So uh, Prabhupada went alone with no financial backing from anyone. And he started this movement, which is surprising and unique because uh, it presents Indian culture and theology and philosophy and a way of living to the people of the world. Uh, so many people go from India to the West and they give a few ideas, but no one really changes their life. But through the uh, inspiration of Sri Prabhupada, people became vegetarians and they gave up all bad habits like drinking and smoking, etc. Which is very, very difficult to do for most people in general, but uh, he convinced people to do this because of the spiritual potency that he had. Uh, so he formed this organization called the International Society for Krishna Consciousness to uh, promote the culture of India. So this movie is about how he struggled to establish this movement and aspired to uh, inspire all the people of the world. So that's basically what it's for. About the it's being open. This movie is opening in uh, many uh, cinemas in India. I think over what is 70? Is it? How many? How many? How many cinemas? All over India. 80 theaters. 80 theaters all over India. North India. I think they're going for one week here in Chennai and Bangalore and Hyderabad for three days only. But it's a good opportunity for people to uh, get a little spiritual upliftment and inspiration to pursue the path of Krishna consciousness. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and we eventually also happen to be followers of ISKCON. But apart from talking of any institution, we have a phone call and we have a phone call and we have a phone call and we have a phone call. It's a very inspirational project. It's a very inspirational project. It's a theatrical release in the world wide. It's not a project for any particular religion. I think we have a spirit that we have a spirit that we have a and the spiritual growth of the project. Uh, the founder director of ISKCON uh, is uh, AC Bhakti Vedanta Srila Prabhupada. Rumba humble beginnings. I go foreign lokande, or park lokande, Yaro or Pacha Kekama, Unur and Dibera, pretty saying the same, they were pace of Ledo meaning Rikun Purunjate. Our Sagar to Munadi, Adade. Amara Ragar to Munadi, Pala Kovil will cut it, pocket la Naya Paisa, but in the Parathana, a Valkil or inspiration at the Kununa, Namada or Lachieta, if we have a goal in life and we truly believe in it with all complete faith and honesty, dedicated efforts put on the Kandipa Valkal and Munir Lande, Adur Megapiri at the Kate, AC Bhakti Vedanta, Srila Prabhupada to Valka. Please do watch this film, it's a very inspiring film. Uh, not propagating religion or anything, but the true essence of spiritualism. Please do watch it. Hare Krishna. Thank you one and all. Nandri. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Every time I enter an ISKCON temple and see an American, Russian or any other foreigner dressed in a sari, I become really overwhelmed at how much conviction Srila Prabhupada has given that they are even ready to change the way they dress, the food they eat, and the way they live. So I think this is really amazing what Prabhupada has done. He went abroad and gave the culture of India the best philosophy that has made people so happy and willing to change the way they have been living. I think it is wonderful. I feel everyone should see this movie and understand the richness of India's culture, how it is universally acceptable, how it helps anyone lead a meaningful, peaceful, happy life. Thank you.
ஒன்னே ஒண்ணு 